कार्बो एनिमेलिस आलेंस की नोट्स एनिमल चाकोल हेड एक एज इफ टोर्नाडो इन हेड एज इफ हेड हैड बिन ब्लोन टू पीसेस हैज टू सेट अप एट नाइट एंड होल्ड इट टुगेदर डिजीजेस ऑफ एल्डरली पर्सन्स विथ मार्क्ड वेनस प्लेचोरा ब्लू चिक्स ब्लू लिप्स एंड ग्रेटेबिलिटी circulation feeble stagnated and vital heat sinks to a minimum cyanosis glands indurated swollen painful inic axillary groin mammy pains lancinating cutting burning benign suppurations change into eiporus or malignant conditions easily strained from lifting even small weights straining and overlifting easily produce great debility ankles turn when walking joints weak easily sprained by slight exertion aversion to open dry cold air after appearance of menses so weak she can hardly speak menses flow only in morning i repeat after appearance of menses so weak so she can hardly speak menses flow only in morning hearing confused cannot tell from what direction a sound comes a stretching pain remains in chest after recovery from pleurisy menstruation leucorrhea diarrhea are all exhausting relationships complementary calcarea phosphorus similar to bromium carbovage phosphorus sepia sulfur carboanimalis is often useful after bad effect from spoiled fish and decayed vegetables aggravation after shaving slightest touch after midnight carboanimalis boric materia medica animal charcoal seems to be specially adapted to scrofulous and venous constitutions old people and after debilitating disease with feeble circulation and lowered vitality glands are indurated veins distended skin blue stitch remaining after pleurisy easily strained from lifting weakness of nursing women ulceration and decomposition all its secretions are offensive causes local congestions without heat mind desire to be alone sad and reflective avoids conversation anxiety at night with orgasm of blood head headache as if head had been blown to pieces rush of blood with confusion sensation as if something lay above eyes so that she could not look up bluish cheeks and lips vertigo followed by nose bleed nose swollen tip bluish small tumor on it hearing confused cannot tell direction of sound stomach eating tired patient weak empty filling in stomach burning and gripping weak digestion flatulence tumen poisoning repugnance to fat food sour water from mouth pyrosis female nausea of pregnancy worse at night lochia offensive menses too early frequent long lasting followed by great exhaustion so weak can hardly speak flow only in morning burning in vagina and labia darting in breast painful indurations in breast especially right cancer of uterus burning pain down thighs respiratory pleurisy typhoid character and remaining stitch ulceration of lung with feeling of coldness of chest cough with discharge of greenish pus skin spongy ulcers copper colored eruption acne rosacea chill blains worse in evening in bed and from cold verruca on hands and face of old people with bluish color of extremities glands indurated swollen painful in neck axillary groin mammy pains lancinating cutting burning burning rawness and fissures moisture bubo extremities 
pain in coccyx burns when touched ankle strain easily straining and overlifting produce great debility joints weak easy discoloration pain in hip joints at night night sweat fatigue and profuse wrist pain modalities worse after shaving loss of animal fluids relationship the carbon group all have putrid discharges and exhalations all act on the skin causing enterigo and excoriations glandular enlargements and cataral states flatulency and aphaxiation asphyxiation complementary calcarea force antidotes to arsenic nux formica compare sepia sulfur plumbum iodum dose third to 30th potency the third trituration for in sufflation in oral polyp wonderful clinical results in the treatment of hookworm disease